Today I'm going to varnish several of my paintings and I'm going to check out what I think is better, Gamvar or Winsor Newton Artist Gloss Varnish. First Gamvar. It makes lots of bubbles, but I've seen it before that the bubbles completely disappear, so they're not a problem at all with Gamor. Okay, my assistant Rod has arrived. He's going to do the rest of them, and then we're going to ask what he thinks about them too. <laughs> Thank you. Ahora pondremos ámbar a este cuadro que tiene otra textura y el otro es liso. A ver qué resulta. Gracias. Okay, now I'm gonna try um, Winsor Newton Artist Gloss Varnish on my butterfly painting. It's been um, drying for almost a year now, so uh, it's dry enough for a proper varnish. Uh, although I kind of tend to like Gamvar so far in terms of like the, it really brings out the color, it's really beautiful. But we're gonna try this one. Oye, Jesse, ven. Ok, entonces, ¿cuál preferías? El ámbar. El ámbar. El ámbar. El ámbar, okay. sí, porque no tiene olores. No tiene tóxico. olores. Ok. No es tóxico, la textura es muy buena. ¿Y las calidades, la calidad de las, los colores? El acabado es muy brillante. Ok. Y me gusta mucho. Ok, ¿y de, de eso qué piensas? Ese es el problema, es el olor. ¿Olor? Sí. Muy oloroso. Sí. Ok, muy bien. Ok, gracias. Okay, so the consensus is I agree with what Gerardo just said um, and basically is that when comparing Gamvar versus um, Winsor Newton Artist Gloss Varnish, uh, basically both of them pop the colors out really well. Gamvar has a sort of real beautiful luminosity to it uh, and the colors are really saturated and beautifully, I want to say rich, but rich isn't the right word. It's more like uh, really wet <laughs> and colorful. With Winsor Newton Artist Gloss Varnish, uh, the quality is definitely there, although it definitely leaves more noticeable streaks. And that's the thing with Gamvar, the streaks are minimal. There aren't a lot of streaks when you paint with, when you varnish with Gamvar. Uh, and there are noticeable streaks with uh, Winsor Newton, and that's not good, that's not really good. But anyways, uh, in terms of the quality of, of, of Winsor Newton uh, Artist Gloss Varnish, I'd say that it is, uh, it's a high quality and I think that it's probably, it, it probably is really good for archival purposes. But you have to be experienced with varnishing and make sure that you, you try to minimize the streaks. I'm using a, a roller, disposable rollers, which I think is actually a good solution uh, because it doesn't leave any real brush strokes, it can't. But it does leave sort of uh, uh, roller strokes as it were. Um, which um, can sort of compete with each other to, for each of them seems to be streaking worse than the other. So I actually regret using it for the, um, the butterfly just because I think that the Gamvar would have looked better. The only thing is the reason I use it for the butterfly is because I think it's more 
uh, archival probably and it's pro it seems to be more durable that's the thing with Gamvar it doesn't seem to be quite as durable but that doesn't mean that it's not uh, um, Gamblin definitely advertises that uh, Gamvar is a permanent varnish and I have no problem accepting that it is it's just that it seems somehow more not gummier but like um, more gelatinous that's what it seems like to me like like almost like gelatin it has no gelatin in it but it just seems softer that's what I'm getting at it, it seems softer whereas the Windsor Newton seems harder so they each have their points um, I think generally I would go for Gamvar if you have to choose between one of them I definitely choose Gamvar because the huge the huge advantage with Gamvar is that you can use it um, uh, right away you can, as soon as your paintings touch touch dry as soon as an oil paintings touch dry you can use Gamvar and it works fantastic um, Windsor Newton artist gloss varnish or any so I'm not sure if it's an acrylic varnish or what but any kind of standard varnish you have to wait six months for an oil painting until the oil painting is sufficiently dry because oil paintings never dry but until the oil painting is sufficiently dry to put a permanent varnish on it um, even though this is a permanent varnish supposedly too so that's a huge advantage being able to uh, use Gamvar right away you can use it whenever you want you know on recently done paintings and then if you're gonna sell a painting right away you can um, wait five days till the paintings touch dry put on Gamvar the, the, the oil is still gonna be continue to be able to uh, continue to breathe it forever um, supposedly and uh, it, the painting will continue to dry indefinitely that's a huge advantage really in fact I think for archival for archival purposes that's probably a bigger advantage than a more solid feeling uh, uh, standard varnish so overall uh, I would definitely choose Gamvar um, gloss and I'm probably going to be going with it people love it um, supposedly the formula has changed in the past several years and um, I, they say that it used to be better when it was in two parts I think you used to have to add two parts together but um, but it, uh, to me that doesn't really matter um, it works fantastic I think the quality's there I don't know if it was like way better before supposedly it was but who cares I mean it's, it's fantastic as it is the last thing I'll say is that there's no noticeable odor at all with Gamvar, okay? That doesn't mean that it's not toxic, all right? I have no idea. I, I know that there are mineral spirits, I think, in Gamvar, which is a thing that I try to avoid. And I've actually done a blog post I'll link to um, in the description for this video uh, for um, Jackson's Art in UK regarding toxic the toxicity of these two products. There's definitely... A very strong odor. In fact, it's nauseating. And in fact, it made me kind of feel sick. And I only varnished like basically two, one painting twice. I did two coats on the butterfly. I only did one on camera. But the odor on this is so bad that even though I'm in a really well, extremely well ventilated situation because it's out on the balcony, there are strong breezes um, going in and out from the doors. All the windows and doors are open. So there shouldn't be that much um, problem with inhalation, but there was. Windsor Newton is definitely a problematic in terms of like the odors. If you're if you're worried about odors, definitely go with Gamvar because there isn't there are none. There's none that I noticed. In fact, I'm gonna smell it right now. But but there isn't really there aren't any real strong odors with Gamvar. Uh, I I again I don't know whether there is any toxicity to it. I think there is. So you gotta watch out. And just the fact that it doesn't smell doesn't mean that it's good for you. Odorless mineral spirits gave me a serious skin problem last year. So. I stay away from them, from them. Um, and this is the only product I think I use with odorless mineral spirits in it. I think that's what they have in it, what it has in it. And I'm sure this has something else similar like that, like turpentine or something. And in fact, it says turpentine right here I'm reading, so I think there's turpentine in that, which stinks and I hate turpentine, although it's slightly less toxic for me than uh, odorless mineral spirits. I've had bad experiences with my skin problems from turpentine as well, and also respiratory problems with turpentine. So I really do try to stay away from uh, toxic stuff. Um, like I said, there's a, um, an article that I uh, wrote for uh, Jackson's uh, Art Supply in the UK having to do with a non-toxic, you know, a non-toxic studio. Uh, so check that out, it's listed below. Um, so okay, so bottom line, Gamvar. Please like and subscribe to see new videos every day. Check out jessewall.com and click on the links below for more information about my work. Please consider supporting my work at Patreon. The link is right there. To suggest a topic, please head over to Patreon as well for more information. Thanks for watching.